Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So Yuju is debuting as a solo artist and to be completely frank with you, you know, like when this whole thing about them, you know, disbending and like not having a contract to continue under the, the company, whatever happened, I, well, I think I was baffled more than anything else, even though I wasn't really understanding why it even happened. Like why were they even in that uh, situation when they were doing so well? I still don't, Think I understand from like my understanding a lot of people were confused baffled but also very angry at the company for doing that which is understandable though I guess if I were to look at it under a different perspective it would be like a bad for a good like you know when something bad happens to you it could actually be for the best like I'm trying to see things under different under a different perspective under a different uh, with a different angle you know so like it was maybe like a good thing in disguise maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm right i don't know i guess as a casual fan i would call myself you know the only thing that i can do right now is like to support the girls individually or like with their uh, group uh future and everything so that's what i'm gonna do anyways uh so yeah i checked the teasers and everything it looks fantastic the whole traditional um touch to it it's one of my favorite concepts anyways so i'm really really looking forward to it uh plus her vocals we already know it's they're incredible so yeah uh this is called play i have the english captions on let's go just that already Did I ever say I just like dolls? That doll is creepy. Oh. This is sophistication at its finest. Oh, I just love when they change the pace like that. This is grace, this is sophistication, this is beauty.
Oh, it was perfect until the very, oh my God. I suddenly just got reminded that she's signed under Kang Danya's uh, uh, company by seeing the logo at the end. <laughs> it just, I just got reminded of that. Okay, it was, like I said, it was perfect from the very beginning till the very end. Like, you know, if this song and concept in, in debut was a food or whatever, this would be fine food. This would be fine cuisine. This would be like the the, the five-star Michelin type of restaurant. This is like the, the Dom Perignon of like, I don't know what year. This is like, like that, you know. It seeps of maturity. It seeps of like refinement. It seeps of like very, um, like I said, sophistication, beauty of like, heartbreak also heartache but it's, it's delivered in such a classy classy way even though you can feel the heartache of the situation there is something extremely soothing about it too it's almost like she has made peace with the situation it's like it hurts but she's at peace with that pain but i feel like there's a hint of something very creepy that it it, it almost feels like it's the calm before the the storm or something like this like you know she's made peace with that pain but why do i feel like there's revenge coming afterwards like, like i said there's something that is low-key creepy about this maybe it's the doll that gives off this uh impression but i feel like she's plotting revenge or whatever i don't know why also i guess the symbolism of like the rose in here is you know she's beautiful and everything but she has grown thorns now to protect herself from any pain in the future and obviously the symbolism also of the doll of her being played by someone someone pulling the strings and everything it feels like there are some blatant symbolism in there like imagery but it feels like it's been done in a very subtle way if that makes sense it's blatant but subtle <laughs> if, that makes, if, that, if that's even possible i guess if i had to describe this very briefly in a few words it would be pure perfection it's that simple. To me, it was pure perfection. Also, the bridge was just a national treasure in itself. Also, I think another thing that makes it so enjoyable is how effortless it looks and sound. Like, she is so effortlessly perfect. <laughs> like I said, like this is the only conclusion that I came down to is, is perfection. I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here because there's nothing else I can say. Like, this was... If perfection was a song, it might just be this one. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, yeah, I'm going to stop you here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.